talk about having command of all your pitches. Len Barker has had that tonight. Swing and a miss. I was throwing the ball real well. Fastball plays across the outside part of the plate to strike. Good fastball, but after the uh, third inning, I started throwing curveball. Barker to the windup. Oh, did he break off a dandy curveball? He has retired 21 men in a row. Realistically, you can't get a no-hitter really into the last inning and get those last few outs. I mean, anything can happen. Boy, everybody I look around this ballpark, 7,290. And there are not too many of them sitting down. Everybody on their feet. I'm going to stand up. This is really electrifying. I walked out there in the ninth inning. I was pretty nervous. I, I picked the ball up, walked back up on the mound, dropped the uh, ball, and I almost fell off the mound. And I was pretty nervous until I started throwing the ball again. 1-1 one, one pitch. Pops it up. Third base side. Toby coming down. He has it. One out. The last pitcher in the major leagues to retire all 27 men that he faced without anyone getting a hit was Catfish Hunter. And that came 13 years ago on May 8, 1968. It's exciting, not only for me and my teammates, but for the whole city of Cleveland. We should see the crowd down on the field next to the Indian dugout of reporters, TV cameras. Wind up and the pitch. He struck him out. Strike three. 11 strikeouts for Lynn Barker. Felt like I was in the zone. I could throw the ball anywhere I wanted to throw, and it, and it would be a strike. And that's exactly what happened. Lynn Barker on the verge of really one of the great games in baseball history. This place is bedlam, Herb. It is absolutely pandemonium here at the stadium. Ernie Witt stands in. Wind up. Here it comes. Fly ball, center field. Manning coming on. He's there. He catches it. Lynn Barker has pitched the no-hitter. A perfect game for Lynn Barker. And the stands erupt. The players go out. Lynn Barker being surrounded on the field. He has made baseball history here tonight. And then when he, he hit the ball and he hit the center field, I knew he wasn't going to drop the ball. I, I gave him the ball. He came running in. He gave me a hug, and he asked me, he said, uh, here's the ball. And I said, no, I, I'm giving it to you for, uh, you know, for all the, the things you've done. It wasn't me just pitching a perfect game. It was the whole team and the whole city, and uh, that's the way I tr always treated it through my career. People would ask me and say, no, it was all of us, because I couldn't have done it without my teammates. And the, the city, you know, they were always behind us. And Len Barker, what a ball game.